Hello, welcome to another video, and today, yes, welcome, this is Tiny Tina Wonderlands, and this is the character creator. So, uh, I wanted to show off the character creator as you get it, since I know some people will be interested in how much detail you can go into, so I'm gonna go and play around with it. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, to start with, um, I just skipped the opening cutscene, and then you go right into this screen. So, behind us we've got a blank character sheet, got a little model on the right inside, it's all nice and just blank and... Yeah. Um, you don't actually start with that armor. The armor's, like, really cool, so that'll be endgame armor, but that's kind of what the armor will look like once you have the class maxed out. Um, your armor's also always very basic at the start. So, yeah, um... So you choose a class, we got Spore Warden, Berserker, Sabermensa, Clawbringer, Spell Shot, Graveborn. Um, these don't have any effect on anything regarding the character creation in terms of like, um, you know, gender, body type, voice, any of that. Um, for this character I'm going to go create Graveborn. And then you get into the character customization screen. Um, body and personality. Uh, all of this, by the way, you can change at any point. Um, I think it's like one of these ones that you can't change. It's your background that you can't change. The opening class, you can't change that, and your background, you can't change. Everything else you can change. So I can go in here, for body type, I can go that one, or this one. Oh, cute naming there. Um, then you've got a height slider. That's the options we got for height. Head size. You got a subtle change there. And then voice. Arr, you animal, you. Go How's this? That was a rhetorical question. I know I'm amazing. <laughs> what? I'm vain. Get over it. What? I'm vain. Get over it. My form is ephemeral. You get the idea. And then you can change your pitch as well. I must evolve yet. My image is in need of refinement. Begin afresh. My image is in need of refinement. And then, of course, you can change your pronouns. This is purely for skill descriptions, I believe. In skill descriptions, it'll be like when the Fate Maker uses his action skill. Etc. That's all this does. It'll just use either, you know, he, him, they, them, she, her. It's just for skill descriptions, I think. Um, and then we've got a randomized button. We can use that. Um, you can also do the slider overdrive. So does that affect any of these? Yeah, yes, it, yes, it does. We. That's definitely a taller character than before, I think. Oh, yeah, it just kind of affects everything. I must evolve yet again. Okay, it even lets you overdrive on the pitch. Yeah, yeah, when I turn it off, it immediately... Uh... <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute, that's kind of cute. I like that. Uh, facial features. Um, now, a lot of these you can unlock later on. It's terrifying. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and in terms of skin color, this is where we can actually have a, a skin for a character. You can have it be red, blue, you know, look, look at it like an Asari or something. Um, scaly green, if you want to do it, be an orc. Red for this character. Uh, hair and headgear. Now, a lot of these you unlock um, during the game through cosmetics. In fact, from this point onwards, most of the um, these selections is like half of what the maximum. And yes, you start with the ability to use cat ears. Same goes for hair colors. You unlock a lot more hair color as you go. This ends up scrolling down and stuff. Um, I, I'm unfortunately not allowed to really show... Um, a lot of the later game, I, I can't show my main main character's cosmetics because uh, we're not allowed to show past a certain part in the game. So, 
Ah, uh, that's all we got. Anyway, fly through here, you can turn on symmetry for on and off for ears. I don't think it actually matters right now because I've got the cat ears on. Um, nose, you select a bunch of noses. And then you can go, um... Size and up and down. Mouth. You get a bunch of different mouth chips. Now what I like to do for the mouth, actually... So, say if I pick this mouth here. You can turn off uh, mouth symmetry, and then, uh, like, change the under overbite if you don't like what a certain mouth uh, is on the underbite overbite. So, if there's a certain mouth you like, but they've got a massive underbite, you can, you can change that individually. And then eyes, you've got shape, brows, eyelashes. Uh, not many options there for eyelashes, it's just kind of like that. Um, it keeps flicking up, that's a bit of a UI fault. Um, pupils. Maybe cat eye if you want. I'll, I'll be spamming the randomize button soon here enough, that's why I'm kind of not really uh, <laughs> going into too much detail into making a good looking character. And then you've got scars which you can choose from. And again, you can unlock a lot more of these later on. So it's like some kind of explosion mark or something. You can flip it if you want. Tattoos. Oh yeah, you'll unlock a lot more of these. And then um, tattoo color. You've got eyeliner. Eyeliner color, eyeshadow, uh, blush, lipstick if you want. You lots of options, different types of lipstick and then you, you can change the colors. That's all of that. Armor decoration. Then, then you can paint your armor. So you got your main armor patterns. Not too, too many to start with. So we'll go with the nice dragon one. Then you got under armor pattern. We'll go with a more raggedy one. And then you got three colors. So the primary will make red. So that's a bit of the uh, armor pattern. Uh, the main armor pattern. Uh, the secondary color is going to be the main, the main plates. Make that in black. And then the tertiary color is just like little bits like shoulder pads and stuff, so I'll make that one green. So you can see which bits of colors you can change. And then you got a bunch of presets as well. Uh, between makeup, armor, and character presets. I'll flick through some of those. The Fool. Kind of getting a Zane vibe, I don't know why. Yes, glorious. That one's pretty good. And if we put, uh, so if we have the slider overdrive disengaged, we go randomize. Oh, yeah, that's, that, okay. Understood. That is randomized. Why was we turn it on? Oh, yes. 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 Oh, yes. <laughs> this is just generating those, like, Fallout 4 ho horrors. Aha! What is that? I'm sorry, bud, but... Oh, no. So yeah, this is a good showcase of what creations you can <laughs> you can make. Um, here, buddy. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna. Where do I see my hair? Hair and headgear. There we go. Let's let's get this. There we go. There we go. There we go. That is our beautiful creation. You continue on over since I gotta move on. Um. We have background, so you can't change these, and these change your starting stats. So Village Idiot is, a, is 8 strength, and uh, minus 3 intelligence. Uh, Raised by Elves is like, minus 4 constitution with only 2 decks. Failed Monk, you lose uh, a handful of strength and decks, and gaining some intelligence and wisdom. Recovering Inventory Hoarder, intelligence and attunement, while losing some decks and constitution. Rogue Alchemist, uh, you lose 5 constitution, uh, you lose 2 dexterity, but you gain 8 wisdom. 
Now, in typical Borderlands games, uh, max health isn't really useful, so you might consider that to be whatever, so this would be a net gain of plus two. Since if you don't care about your constitution, and you want all the status damage from Wisdom, um, and, you care about, and you lose two crit, which you can just respec and, and put those back in, you could say that that one's a net gain of six points, which is very, very efficient. But it's also Wisdom. Who cares about Wisdom? This also affects your maximum. So, um, if you choose village, vig, village Idiot, not only is your starting strength eight higher, but your ending strength can also be eight higher. This makes the, the background quite important, and it's also why I think that Village Idiot is just the best one to take in every situation. It's a net gain of plus five, Losing 3% max stat spell cooldown by the end, very end if you max intelligent is like, oh no, spell shot's got a way to bypass that anyway. <laughs> um, and so you might not care so, so much about spells. And it's 3%. 3% versus 10% crit damage. Yeah, I'm gonna take Village Idiot every single character. I don't care. I'm min-maxing the background. Uh, you do get little bits of backstories as well. And then, so that's one thing you can't change. Uh, but naturally, um, they, they're all going to go into into strength because crit damage, shoot them in the face and do big damage. <laughs> and then you get a player name. Now, be weary. You can't change this. This is the third thing you can't change. Not a huge fan of this. But... That's how it is. This is our character. We are a pinnacle of beauty. We are a village idiot. Blessed with lux, muscles, and exactly two cells that never call each other. You're made in the image of the gods. <laughs> God of himbos. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. And you click that to start. And it'll go into uh, the opening cutscene. So that is the character editor for Tiny Tina Wonderlands. It's um, cursed, uh, delightfully cursed. And uh, yeah, you can actually make some decent looking characters if you if you properly fine tune it and stuff. And especially when you've unlocked a lot more cosmetics. Like those options, you've got like double in, in size. So um, there's a lot to go out there. So yeah, that is the character creator of Bunkers and Badass is Tiny Tina Wonderlands. Thank you so very, very much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Stay safe. Stay awesome. I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.